local family is demanding answers from a local hospital after they say their loved one allegedly died at that facility in just 24 hours. Trinity Tyus says her mother, Mary Cole, was admitted to Stonecrest Mental Facility in Detroit November 25th without her approval, and she never made it out. Larry Spruill joins us live from Stonecrest facility, and Larry, uh, Trinity tells you she was denied access to her mother. Kimberly, she tells me she tried to see her mother several times here at this hospital. She called several times. She even stopped by but was denied access. Now she's trying to figure out what happened to her mother inside Stonecrest. Okay, my mom has a schizophrenia disorder. She was fine. She was on medication. She was a working woman. She didn't let that stop her. Trinity Tyus tells me that's the very thing she admired most about her mother, Mary Cole. But recently, she noticed a change. The night of November 25th, 2019, I just noticed my mom was just very, very emotional. It was the last time she would see her mother, Mary Cole, alive. She left for work and she never came back. I didn't want her to leave. Taya says she filed a missing persons report and two days later, officers found her mom alive sitting in her car on the side of Interstate 75. I talked to a social worker and I petitioned her for her to be evaluated at DMC Hospital. Taya said later on that night she called the hospital, but staff members told her that her mother was transported to Stonecrest Mental Facility on Gratiot Avenue in Detroit. She tells me she did not know. Stonecrest, I kept calling her. She's sleeping. She's in group therapy. I, I went to go try to see her. They said I couldn't see her. She had to put me on a list. She had to release. She can't release information to me. Taya says Stonecrest staff members also told her one of the reasons she was denied was because she's under the legal age. But Tyus wants to know how can she be old enough to petition her mother, but not old enough to see her. Mark Reinstein with Mental Health Association in Michigan. That makes no sense to me. To say that because someone is 17 and may not be or is not a legal adult, that therefore they can't visit or talk on the phone with a parent. If that's hospital policy at that hospital, then it's one strange and bad policy. Taya says her mom was taken by ambulance from Stonecrest to St. John's Hospital, and when the hospital contacted Taya, she went to see her mom. I didn't know what to do. I was, she only 44 years old. And she said she had a seizure. I didn't believe it. Now I reached out to the Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office. They confirmed to me the cause of death is pending. Pray God, give me a sign. Give me something because I can't take this pain. And I tried to contact Stonecrest. I called four times and left multiple voice messages since Monday. I have not heard back. I even stopped by this hospital, but was told by security that I had to leave. I reached out to the Michigan Licensing and Regulatory Affairs Department. They told me they could not comment on individual cases, but there have been multiple complaints filed against Stonecrest in the past three years. 12 complaints in just 2019 this year alone. I'm also told they are investigating this case. We're live on the Choice East Side tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Let's hope Tyus gets some answers that she deserves. Okay, Larry, thanks.